Hello, this video is to talk about what's due to come out in Beaver Builder 2.3, which is presently in alpha, alpha version six as I'm recording this, so things are moving along. But of course, this is changing, so things may get added or even taken away before this goes out. What I wanted to do was to let you know that I've opened up my beta testing site again, which you'll find at beta.beaverjunction.com. So you can come here, enter your email address. This will send you a link. And when you click on it, it will build you a new copy of this site where you'll be logged in and you can do the testing on this site. But of course, it's also available in your account when you open up that downloads page. You'll just need to click on this to find it. And it opens up this section and there is the zip file. There's also a link here to the forum article that is on this release and I've got this open here and this will just keep us up to date on what is changing through alpha and beta. And if you're like me and have multiple sites and don't like using FTP, you might find this plugin quite handy. I use it all the time on my starter sites and it's called Easy Theme and Plugin Upgrades. It's on the WordPress repository for free and it's very lightweight. And what it does is it stops that problem where you try and upload a folder with the same name. It says you can't do that because this folder already exists. Well, what this does is it bundles up into a zip the original folder and places it in your media library so you can then download it again if you want to revert back but it just speeds everything up okay let me move on so on this site I've just created this page over here which is just one of my templates so visually it doesn't make too much sense and I've just put some text in to remind us what's in this version and I'm in the page editor here so first let me just say it seems like this version is really concentrating on efficiency with some workflow and what I particularly like some performance improvements so let's take a look at the work flow improvements so the first is a much requested one and that is the ability to undo and redo when you are in the editor so maybe you've had the situation I certainly have when I built out a very nice row and then accidentally deleted it and can't really do anything about that well now we have a history tab over here where we can just move around from our versions and we can also use keyboard shortcuts as well. So in this situation, I have just published this and I've gone in again. So the only thing I have here is that a draft has been created. But of course, if I'd saved as a draft and done other work, all that history would be in there as well. So let me just show you this in action. I'm going to go over here and remove the S from here and save that just so you can see this working. Now I can use my keyboard shortcut, which I'm on a PC, so I know is what you'd probably expect, which is Control and Z. And we should see, there we are, the S moving back. If you want to find out all of your shortcuts, you can go over here and go to keyboard shortcuts and it gives me undo as control and Z as I said and if I want to redo I just use shift control and Z and I think this is aware of what platform you're using so I think this says something different if you're a Mac user okay so let me just go and take a look as well on the history here and we can see there that uh, header edit has been shown here so if I want to move it back one more time to remove the S I can just move here and obviously this builds up as you're working on this particular page. Okay, so that's covered this. The next one apparently was requested as well. I think it's really clever, particularly since Beaver Builder version 2.2 and we got a lot more styling options in our modules. You can often spend a lot of time just getting one right and then you want to duplicate those. So a good example may be a button and I've done this here. So I've got square buttons everywhere. So I've just added some extra style in here. So I've added some border radius to make these round. And I don't know if you can see it, I've also added a little bit of box shadow as well. So setting that up takes a bit of time and perhaps I like this and I want to transfer all the styles here to another button here. Well, I can do this with this import export function. So I go into the advanced setting and scroll down to the bottom here. And what I can do is click on this button and it's gonna add all of the settings 
to my clipboard and that's all I need to do there and if I go down to this button and go to the advanced setting there again to the bottom and now all I need to do is to paste this in so on the PC so I'm going to control and V and there we are there's all the settings I'm sure you can amend these if you know what you're doing but I'm just going to take it as it is and click on the import these and we should see those changes apply here brilliant it works really well and I'm just going to undo that with my control and Z there we are we've gone back okay and finally when it comes to workflow we have touch support that's been added so you can now work on I guess your tablets or your pads and any other devices that have touch support okay so that's the workflow stuff so let's just quickly talk about the better performance so there's been an improvement to the way that beaver builder saves to the database and they say on average you can save 60 percent of space which sounds pretty good to me and the thing I'm most excited about because I requested it and it was a modulization so the ability to be able to reduce our server resources by turning off unused modules. My request from this actually, I have to attribute this to Sujay over at the Ultimate Add ons for Beaver Builder because they've done this for some time. They've allowed you on their own screen to be able to turn them off so they don't show in the beaver builder settings and they are literally just turned off so if you've got any content this is one of the the difficulties with it if you don't know what you're doing you could turn it off and surprise yourself because your entire content has gone with that and one of my requests was that there would be some kind of would do exactly what uabb had done but also provide some feedback which is what was there in the alpha version 5 but some were here along the way uh, it wasn't communicated that I wanted this because I wanted modulization and I really have to give big thanks to Simon Prozzo he's been an absolute hero I think for so many things with Beaver Builder but he added this ability to be able to turn off the modules really really quickly and put out alpha version 6 but it does does mean that I want to talk about it a little bit in this video because there maybe are you know some potential issues that no one's aware of because if you turn off now these modules it's going to do the same as what UABB does and stuff is going to disappear now of course now you've got the feedback here so you know what's not being used but potentially there could be I guess some people who want to hide the content as they could do before from the editor but would still like those modules to be active say in templates so I don't know they sound like edge cases I can't imagine anyone wanting that but I wanted to make this public in case there was anybody who wanted to get in on the debate on this before it goes live but the cool thing about this is you can see exactly what's not being used and in my case that is generally about half of the beaver builder modules and the other great benefit is if you're using third-party plugins it also lists those here as well now I haven't got them here but if I had the ultimate add-ons for beaver builder or power pack which I use they would be listed here and the other good bit of news is that I spoke to Pooh Neat as well over at power pack and he says if this is going into beaver builder they will follow suit so this should allow us to be able to pick our third-party add-ons or at least some of them and just be able to turn on and off what we need without that kind of extra weight on our server so I'm really excited about that anyway I think that's enough for me thank you so much for listening to this uh, please go and try out the demo and report things in please give me a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to the channel anyway hope to catch you on another video soon thank you bye bye